Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we solve exercise number 3-10. In this exercise, we actually made a probability board simulation. Here you can see the layout of the probability board or you can say the breadboard. And in this uh, breadboard, the marbles come from the source and there is a 50% chance the marble move right side or the left hand side. So you can see here 50% chance for rolling the marble left versus the right side. So you need to create an arena simulation model to simulate a probability board with n is equal to 6 rows of the bed and k is equal to 1500 marbles in the reservoir. So the total marbles that comes from the reservoir are equal to 1500 and the total number of row in probability board is equal to 6 and you also need uh, to add the level animation uh, and after completing this simulation repeat the same procedure with wind storm so the above case is without the winds and when the wind storm there is a 75 percent chance rather than the 50 percent the marble will roll to the right of each bed okay so let's move to the arena home screen okay so here is our model of exercise 3 10 with no wind case in this case first you need to drag the td8 module from the basic process panel like this simply drag into the flowchart area and here add the following detail like the name of that module is incoming marbles from the reservoir and entries per arrival is equal to 1 the type of the time between arrival is constant that is equal to 1 or and the maximum arrival is equal to 1500 as given in the case problem simply click ok ok after adding the create uh, module then simply drag the decide module and make the total number of rows is equal to 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are six rows and in each row there is a 50% chance the marble move to the right side or the left side. So this is the design module for row 1, pad 1 and 50%. The type of the design module is 2 way by chance. Then add an other design module here, row 2, pad 1 and row 2, pad 2. Exactly repeat the same step for the rest of the design module. Okay, so here you can see it when you add the create module, the entry or the next one entry station is like this. Uh, here you can see you can make the model like this. But here the model is top down model. So how you can do that? Simply select the module and then move to the arrange. And here you can simply rotate the model like this. In that case, you can rotate the model and made this top down model in arena okay so after that simply add the dispose module so there are total seven bins like the bin one this is the bin two and up to this seven bins here you can add the level from the resource animation bar simply click this and the level meter will be added so here you can add the expression bin one dot number or simply you can see it here then repeat the same step for the second bin, third bin, four, if six, and the seventh one. And you can also change the color value. And here you can define the level minimum and maximum value. So here I can uh, add the minimum value zero and maximum value is equal to 16. Sorry, 600. Okay, so that's all for the module now move to the run panel and click setup and here number of application is equal to one but replication length is infinite in this case because here i didn't define the stopping point of simulation but simulation still stop how because in this create module i'm define the max arrival value is equal to 1500 it means after 1500 no entities come to the system and definitely no other processing will be had so that's why the simulation stopping point in this case is uh, 1500 of the marble number count 
that is defined in the create module or okay, you can also define the expression under the run setter module under this terminated condition uh, field value right click and build expression and here you can build the expression for stopping the simulation as well okay okay so let's run the simulation okay so here you can see the markers are coming from the source module and they are moving to the levels so here you can see the number values of each marker that fall into the respected bins so you can see its value is 22 151 359 162 you can also use the record module to record these values as well so it's up to you so here you can see the portion of marbles that landing in the bin let's say i i value is defined the number of bins that is 1 2 3 4 5 up to 7 is an unbiased estimator of probability of x is equal to i minus 1 where x has the binomial distribution with its parameter n is equal to 6 and p is equal to 0.5 or you can say 50 percent for each of the bins that value come from 1 to 7 and the results are there are total number of bins 7 and the number of marbles that fall into the bin is shown here 22 151 359 and up again up to 22 you can calculate the portion of each marble simply dividing the value of the respected bin to the total number of marbles and you can compute the portion of marble you can also use the binomial expression to calculate the z probability values and uh, that's all for the case one okay so now let's move to the setting part of the simulation exercise 3-10 in which the wins actually comes so each uh, of the steps would remain safe nothing change in the create module and nothing change in the decide module you need to change the only single value in decide module that is 75 percent instead of 50 percent rest of the simulation will remain same as now the probability of true or you can say the marble move right side of the probability simulation is 75 instead of 50 percent and repeat the same step for the rest of the decide module you can check it out like this and after that at the level that is exactly the same procedure as in the case a this is the case b actually of problem 3-10 so bin 1 number out, bin 2 number out, exactly the bin 7 number out with minimum value of 0 and maximum value of 600. Okay, so here you can also see under the run set of value, no replication length is defined because the simulation stopping point is defined under the create module that max value is again 1500 and then again run the simulation and you can see the marbles moving to the bins like this now you can clearly see as there is a 75 percent chance the marble moves to the right side of the bin so that's why here you can see the max values or number count of the mar uh, marbles and on the left hand side the number count of the marbles are as far like there is a 25 percent marble move to the left side of the bin and 75 percent chance marble move to the right side of the bins okay so again uh, you can clearly see the number out values and then again you can draw the proportion of the marble and is expected binomial probability values exactly same procedure is followed to calculate or compute these values so in this video we solve the exercise problem 3-10 with wind and without wind case. That concludes our exercise problem. Thank you.